If you're using VLOOKUP, you'll want to consider using tables for your lookup range. And here's why. One of the big problems with VLOOKUP is if you're referencing a static range of cells, as you add to it, your VLOOKUP function may not be referencing everything. This is where tables come in. A table will automatically expand as you add entries, and it's easy to set up a VLOOKUP function for it. So in this example, I've got some dates and events. And so for my date value here, let's say I want to look up the event for December 1st, 2025. I'll type in December 1, 2025. And for my lookup function, I'm referencing that value. And for my table array, I'm going to select the entire table. So you'll notice the arrow is black and pointing down. So that means I'm selecting the entire, entire field. So I'm going to hold and drag, and I'm going to select table 1 and my column index number is the second column. My range lookup is an exact match, so I'm going to is false. So just like you would set up a normal VLOOKUP function. The advantage here is I don't have to worry about this range changing. I'm just referencing the entire table, so it makes it really simple. And it returns the value that I'm looking for. So as you can see, that lookup function is referencing this table. You can see the red outline. Let's say I add to to this December 22nd, 2025, I'll say reports are due. And if I look at my VLOOKUP function, it's automatically expanded along with the table. So I don't have to adjust any range here. So if I just change this to December 22nd, 2025, the VLOOKUP function returns the correct value. So I no longer have to worry about that range changing on me, even as I add items to it. For more tips like this, check out howtoexcel.net and my YouTube channel, at H2E.